in this video you will get tips to get the right mesh for your geometry and applied load you have this part that you fixed at the bottom end and pulled through the hole and you want to design a good mesh here is an example of mesh but this is not good enough so the first logical question that you ask is what is a good mesh after the analysis you see the stress distribution is high around the hole and away from the hole the stress distribution is kind of flat even before this analysis just from the applied load you know there would be stress concentration around this hole good mesh should have many qualities but among them some important ones are a good mesh is that which has more element where the stress changes is high for example from here to here the stress changes quite fast so a good mesh will have more elements here the second characteristics of a good mesh is it will have less element where stress change is low for example the stress is not changing significantly here so this is the region of low stress change and we expect there should be less elements here you want to reduce the number of elements in unnecessary region because higher number of total elements will mean longer time to run the simulation so to make the simulation faster you will want to have lesser elements away from the region that is of your interest finally no dramatic mesh size or shape change for example all the way through here the size of the mesh was sort of consistent maybe here the mesh size reduced but uh, it was quite consistent as it reduced slowly from here to here and the shape change is also not dramatic because uh, if you look at uh, this uh, quadrilateral elements the length of different sides are quite similar so if we had an element where these two sides were very long whereas this and this side was much much shorter then we would say that shape of this element is dramatic this is an example of good mesh for this part with the given boundary condition and loads first condition more elements where stress change is high here the stress change is high and number of elements is also higher so the first condition is ticked second condition is less element where stress change is low that's also ticked and finally no dramatic change in the shape or size of this mesh the mesh changes smoothly in size and also in shape from one side to another so that is also ticked so this is an example of good mesh again this is an example of a bad mesh here you see there is dramatic change of element size here the elements are quite big and the adjacent element are all on a sudden very small so it has dramatic change in mesh size again if you look at for example this element it has a dramatic shape these two lines are quite long and these and this edge of this element is quite small so the third condition is not fulfilled then we look at the second condition so less elements where stress change is low so here the stress change is low but we see the number of elements is again higher here this is also a violation of second condition for a good mesh and finally it also does not fulfill the condition that there should be more elements around the uh, area where you have stress concentration in abacus you can design a mesh as you wish using these two basic actions seed and mesh control first let's look at the seed in abacus mesh module you can select the number or size of these seeds seeds are represented by these small circles in abacus you can define the distance between two seeds so one option that you keep the distance same everywhere in this uh, in this part such that you seed the whole part at once after this particular seeding if you complete the mesh you will see that the elements created by this mesh all of them touches those seed points so by defining these seed points you make sure where your element lines crosses at the boundary and also at any partition that you made inside this part but seed cannot define what happens inside this part it can only define what happens at the edges or into the partition of this part or you can seed every edge that available to you separately you can define that the seed in each edge has the same distance you can also define that seed in a edge changes the distance as it go forward 
again you will see the after the mesh is done the elements crosses the seat points at the edge how and what happens inside of this part is not defined by the seed and that thing is defined by mesh control for example in these four parts the seeds were exactly the same however we have defined different mesh control for different parts in this case we have defined the mesh control that will have minimum transition of the mesh and that is reflected on the element distribution in this mesh the transition from one side to another is minimized and it looks quite structured in the second case we have set mesh control to be free and then it it has only obligation that the elements will touch these uh, seed points at the edge but inside they can be very wild and we see some sort of wildness of the mesh inside here so the mesh control was free both of these cases the elements were quadrilateral that means each element had four sides but in mesh control we can also define the elements to be triangular that means the elements will have three sides so this is an example of having the free mesh again in mesh control also defining the in the mesh control the elements to be triangular finally here we have defined quadrilateral elements we have defined that uh, the mesh should be structured so we should expect something similar to that but we did not get it although we defined structured mesh control because we did not tick minimum transition in this case so it looks like using minimum transition is a good option to get nice mesh and the second nice option to get good mesh is to use structured mesh now we will look into abacus how to define this mesh we will start seeding without any partition we have defined our assembly to be independent so we do our seeding to assembly but if we have done our instance in assembly to be dependent then it should be in part and then we also make sure that we are in mesh module then we will go to seed and then instance that means it will seed the whole part at once so click there and it will ask proximate global size that means globally at these edges outside and this inner circle what would be the distance between those seat points so we select it to be one apply so that means now these seats are about one millimeter away here and also one millimeter away here so let's uh, accept that so now we have defined what happens to the edge what happens inside of this part would be defined in mesh and mesh control we start with that uh, the mesh will be quadrilateral that means the each mesh will have four sides and uh, the mesh is free and uh, instead of using this medial axis which has this option to minimize the mesh transition we will use advancing front if we say okay so we have both provided the seeds and provided the mesh control now if we mesh go to mesh and instance so we have this very irregular type of mesh now if we go to mesh and delete this instance mesh and this time we will control this mesh to be medial axis instead of uh, advanced front and also tick to minimize the mesh transition and click ok so now the new setting of mesh control has been imposed to this part now if we go to mesh and instance we have quite nice mesh actually this is almost an acceptable mesh because the shape of this mesh is not wild the transition of uh, the size of this mesh is also quite regular but uh, what it is missing that we have more elements here and more elements here actually in practice we want more elements to be around the place where we have stress concentration and less here and here but we have already come to a nice mesh just by controlling this mesh to minimize the mesh transition and uh, selecting the algorithm of what happens inside the object to be medial axis we have definitely so far selected free and rest of the techniques are great actually we can use rest of the techniques if we make additional partitions for example if we make a partition from here to here and here to here it would be possible to select for example structure or sweep mesh control 
but we want to do better than that just to show i can show you what happens if i select try so it will be a, there will be a pop-up that says that uh, do I, you want to delete this mesh yes i want to delete this mesh now this setting of this new triangular mesh size has been implemented to that if i go to mesh and instance now you have this triangular mesh here so let's go ahead and delete this instance native mesh we are back where we started but this time instead of uh, this instance seed we will use partitions and define different number of seeds at different edges so to do that let's go and uh, delete this instance seeds we will go to tool and create partition and uh, sketch from here to here and also sketch from here to here such that we have the partitions now we will go to seed and select edge instead of previously we selected instance now we select edge so we'll first select this edge and show you how something called bias work if you say bias none then uh, the number of element size that you put would be equal everywhere if i select this single bias option it will say what's the minimum and maximum size of the element i want let's say the minimum is 0 0.2 and maximum is 5. if you apply you will see at this line distance between seeds are not equal everywhere it makes sure that the distance between these two seeds are one it reduces gradually such that the distance between last two seeds are 0 0.2 and there is an arrow it indicates that which direction the size or the distance between two seats reduces you can change it by any time selecting flip now this direction has flipped or changed and then clicking apply and then now in this direction the distance between these uh, seeds decreases but we don't need that we will flip again and apply so we are done with defining our customized seed to this edge we can now do the same seeding to the other two edges the direction should be flipped we can seed in multiple edges together so we can select all three edges if uh, this says uh, the selection arrow is uh, selected to be edge you can directly uh, select the edges by drawing a box so now it is possible that uh, we define the seeds in these three lines all together so go to seed edge now we need to flip these uh, arrows because we want uh, minimum size element to this direction and maximum to be that direction so flip bias select select these three edges done and apply they would be selected but interestingly there are too many elements here than we would like to have so we can change it by making the minimum size to be one and maximum size to be ten so you can actually change these numbers and keep applying and then uh, try another one keep apply and check if you like that if you look here there was uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine or ten around ten elements here and we also make sure there is around ten elements there so it went like a sun ray so to do that you will again select edge seeds select this 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 and all of them and this time we will not do any bias we will make a constant number of seed everywhere now if we give by size that means distance between two seeds would be same here and distance between two seeds would be same also here but we can have this trick that we can instead of the method by size we can use the method by number here if we say 10 that will make sure there is 10 elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here and also there is 10 elements here and 10 here and 10 here 
and by that we have made sure that uh, we have lot of elements in the middle we have less elements away from this stress concentration area similarly away from stress concentration area now we try to apply what we have learned on mesh control so uh, we have to select the whole thing and we have seen earlier if we use quad free and use medial axis with minimizing the mesh transition we get a good result structured could also be used but free is good as far as we used this uh, minimization technique so click ok so far we have defined the seeding and we have also defined the mesh control now we go ahead mesh and instance this is quite a successful mesh indeed